How's it going, guys? Welcome to episode eight of my Feed the Beast Let's Play. And I still have Aaron here. Yes, yes, you do. Here I am. Because I'll need a lot of help. Because yep. what we're going to do this episode is we're going to take this lava that we collected last episode, we're going to run it to a geothermal generator to turn it into EU so we can stop wasting all our coal, and then we're going to build a low-voltage transformer so we can power our machines. Because if... Uh... Oh, I'm sorry. We're going to put the geothermal connected to an MFE, which is uh, an upgraded bat box. And from that, you get medium voltage, I believe. Or is it high voltage? Medium voltage. You get medium voltage out of that, and if you plug anything higher than low voltage to the Tier 1 industrial craft machines they blow up and that's bad yeah so we'll have to build a low voltage transformer to set that up and that's really easy and you can actually when you set up your transformer you know there's one input and then five outputs mm -hmm. if you want you could actually hook up one machine to each side of that thing so they get more packets ah that's true um another thing that we were talking about off camera that i wanted to show you guys uh we came across the issue again of I have three different kinds of tin here, and I had remembered that in a, I think it was a Direwolf 20 video, he had shown what was called a Forge Lexicon. And uh, what this little thing does, I don't remember which mod adds it, but what it does is it changes ingots into ingots from other mods. So I can drop a Buildcraft tin ingot in here and turn it into an Industrial Craft tin ingot. Does it take power? No, I don't think it takes any power. So it's a one to one, right? Mm-hmm. Sweet. And I've already gathered all the ingredients. The cyan wool took a little while to find because sheep are apparently extinct. Uh, <laughs> and I have a book. It's just a book, two gold, two iron, obsidian, and a cyan wool. So I'm going to go ahead and put this together. And then we can not have three different kinds of tin. Where's my obsidian? There we go. If you guys ever have trouble mining obsidian, you just build a turtle because they eat right through it. Boom. Yes, they Forge, do. Forge lexicon. We're going to put that, uh, put it over here. Since you're talking about obsidian, the uh, block breakers from Red Power will also break obsidian. Oh, really? But since um, you have to move it each time, it's not really a good solution. But it's good to know that you can break it if you need to with it. Boom, look at that, guys. I drop the tin in here. It tells me what kind it is, and it shows me the different tins I can change it into. So I'm going to change all my tin into this tin here because that's what I have the most of. Bam. Now they stack. So I'm going to go ahead and change it all to that. Do that again so I can see that. Okay. I'll get some. Uh, actually, I'll just change it back. Put your tin there. In the can top? You see the, can you see the interface? Oh, you put it on the left. Yeah, I put it right here in the left. And then, and then you, you can change it through. to the different types. And you click that little uh, little conversion button and it changes it to the other type. I'm going to change it to the one that looks just like iron. Oh, because that'll be a whole lot of fun to dig through. <laughs> there we go. Why can't I build this piston? We'll do the regular industrial craft tin. The one that looks exactly like iron? No, it, it's it's much different. Oop. <clears throat> and I changed it to the wrong one because they look so friggin' similar. There we go. That's the one I put it to. Yeah, I, I changed it to a different one. Oh, okay. I just happened to take yours when I took mine. I don't oh, know. all right. As long as it's all the same type, that's okay. So first thing we need to do is make a geothermal generator. And to do that, we have to take our regular generator. Oops, I can't spell. Regular generator, two refined iron, four glass, and two empty cells. The empty cells are made with tin, like that. Then we have four glass... Two refined iron, perfect, and our generator. I'm really hoping this generator doesn't break because I didn't build a, uh, uh, what you call it, electric wrench yet. Time out. We'll, Speaking uh, of electric wrench, we need steel to make it. Oh, no. Man, they are really making this game hard now. So we're just going to have to take the chance of getting the machine block back when we move these yep. things. Um, the problem with, uh, if you notice a few episodes ago, I built uh, a wrench out of bronze that there I can't find. Is. There it is. I had I it. Built, I built a wrench, and whenever you hit a machine with a wrench, it breaks. Cool, look at that. We got a generator back. Well, with the, the more advanced machines, you have a, a small chance to, when you break the machine, you get a machine block back instead of the machine, and that sucks. With the electric wrench, you can put it in lossless mode, and it uses a lot more energy, but it guarantees that you get the machine back. So uh, when you have the resources to do that, you want to. 
Yeah, it's totally worth it. Yeah. Next episode, I'm definitely going to have to go to the nether and uh, get some steel lined up because steel is uh, used for the mining drill, the wrenches. It was used in something we looked at earlier that's pretty... Uh, the portal gun, I think. Or no, it wasn't the portal gun. They made everything that was awesome take a lot of resources. The rock cutter and stuff. The rock cutter, that's what it was. The rock cutter is a, a tool that has silk touch built into it, so you can silk touch diamonds and stuff like that. Why are you going to go to the nether for steel? To get the uh, the blast furnace. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, to, to cook steel, you that's it's not right. anything special. You have to cook iron in what's called a blast furnace, and for that you need a blast furnace bricks, which are just made using soul sand, nether brick, and magma cream. Yes. And you need like like, like 30 60 of them. Yeah, like a lot of them. It's like 30 something, I think. Because it's not a regular item. You actually have to craft. You you build it in the world and then it turns into an oven like the coke furnace or the coke oven. So, now we have our awesome geothermal generator. I'm just going to plop this down right there. And we'll have to pipe the lava from the tank into the geothermal generator. So I'm going to go grab some pipe and redstone, and we'll do that. I don't think you have to pump it into the bottom anymore. Oh, uh, really? You can just pump it in the back? That is important, because you used to have to pump it into the bottom. I don't think you have to now. So try it, but I don't think you have to. There's a redstone engine, and we need wooden transport pipe. If I can find some wood. Oh, it's in my inventory, because I'm awesome. Um, I put some pipe waterproof in with the um, wrench and stuff. Did we use all the glass? I think up oh, it's in my inventory. There was some in the project table right here. I think I used it all. So we're going to use redstone to power this for a minute. For those who didn't know, every redstone you put in a bat box, you get 500 EU, which is pretty good. Yeah, especially I have a ton of redstone. Yeah, once you get into the later game, you, you have so much redstones, you're never going to use it all. Are you going to need more gold waterproof pipe? No, nah, I think we're good for now. I just need this one here to and take it out of the to take it out of the tank. Yeah. Okay. Get a lever. There we go. Redstone engine, waterproof transport pipe, and a lever. And also don't forget um this red brick. There's a biome close by. You see it in the bottom left-hand corner of my map if you're looking at my view. Um, it it's made out of this red rock. If you break it, it turns into red cobblestone. Well, if you cook it back into the rock, you can make this just like you make a stone brick. And uh, it looks really cool when you put it in the world. Yeah, it looks really awesome. And uh, we're actually going to cover this whole area, this whole uh, shack in the redstone brick. And in the future, uh, the redstone brick, the red brick. It is redstone brick. Oh, it's 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 red stone, not right. red stone. Okay, it's red stone brick, not red uh, red stone brick. We're gonna build a shack here, and once I have enough energy to enough energy and resources to do it, and they add mist craft to this pack, I'm gonna build a a railcraft nether lava center right there, like I, I've talked about in the past. And that's honestly my favorite way to get energy. Yes, me too. <laughs> because all that lava in the nether, just sitting there, not doing anything. You might as well turn it into electricity. Now, you'll see what I just did there. Um, on the wooden pipes, wooden pipes are used to extract. They're used to take out. Um, well, one side of the wooden pipe is always going to be filled in, just like iron pipes. The filled in side is the side it's coming from. The open side is the side it's going to. So just like iron pipes, you'll have all sides except one that have this filled in color. You hit it with the wrench, and it changes what side has the, uh, the filled in. So uh, having it set up like this pulls from the lava tank and puts into the generator. If I do it like this and turn the redstone engine on, nothing's going to happen because this ge uh, geothermal generator doesn't hold anything. So flip that around, make a lever, boom. And we should see some lava start to pour in. There we go. I'm pretty sure you can even pump from the top of the tank and it'll still pump all the way to the bottom. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure I saw that unless they changed it when they updated. Oh, so this is just like a whole container. <laughs> right. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right, we're filling up, and it doesn't have anywhere to connect to it, saying, so we're going to have to go now build an MFE, which is a super bat box. And for that, we'll need quite a few things. I think we need energy crystals and all kinds of stuff. You have to make energy crystals for MFEs? 
I'm pretty sure. Let's oh, see. man. Greg Tech, man. It makes everything so hard. Yeah, I'll need a machine block. I'll need some energy crystals. And I'll need two times insulated gold cable. And I just broke my furnace. Oh, boy. <laughs> How about this? You do the energy crystals. I'll do the cable. Okay. Um, do you want to cook some iron in the furnace? Do I need to? Yeah, I'll need a refined iron for a machine block. Okay. And I only have zero. <laughs> <laughs> There's five iron in the project table. Uh, is that all the iron I have? I'm so bad. <laughs> Here we thought we were prepared for this episode. Nonsense. <laughs> yeah, I'll just cook some in the slag furnace because I'm lazy and don't want to set everything up again. All right, where did all the gold go? Uh, That's a good question. I got it. Oh, you had it in your inventory? No, I took it out of your project table. Okay, I was making energy crystals, and for that you'll need diamonds and redstone. And the advanced version of that is a, a Lapatron crystal, which just takes an energy crystal, um, an advanced electric circuit, I believe, and some lapis. It's actually really cool because they give lapis a use in this mod pack. It's yeah, not worthless. Right. Any high, any high storage energy uh, tool is going to need lapis. Did you know they made, I think they made a new recipe for 2X insulated gold wire? Really? You used to make the the wire, and then you put rubber with it. Well, you, uh -huh. can, you can just take a gold ingot now and surround it with eight pieces of rubber, and it'll give you four two times insulated gold cable. Oh, that's cool. Yep. That's not how I do it, but that'll work. Yeah, I just make the insulated, co the insulated cable and then throw it in there again with another piece of rubber. Right. So I've got my four energy crystals here. You got four insulated cable at your feet. Four insulated cable. Boom. And now we just need the refined iron, which I'm going to make right now. Can't ever get away from coal. <clears throat> and then we're actually going to have some real power online. Will the Forge Lexicon do raw ores? I'm gonna see. I don't know, let's find out. I got some in my in my pocket. Yes it will. Oh, that's really cool. I didn't know that. That's awesome. Yeah, the Forge Lexicon's awesome and it's so cheap to make, you might as well. Yeah. <clears throat> I really like the thermal expansion ores, the way they look. Yeah, like I like the the new copper, it looks really cool. Yeah. Even cooked up. Because uh, old old copper looked lame. Look at all this stuff you have, like not even processed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where is this happening? Right here, right next to me. Was that inside? Yeah, it was right here. Oh, he walked in from outside. Yeah, he snuck in and shot me, the little bastard. Hold on, look at me. You have an arrow in the side of your face. That's awesome. So you're a fine iron. It looks like it's... You just took it out? I just stole it, yeah. <laughs> okay. No, you're good. Machine block. Toss that in the middle. Some two times insulated cable. All right. And now we can start storing some of this. Oh, I forgot the cables. We need our diamond cable because this holds the... Uh, it carries the most EU the farthest without losing it. Correct. I think you can go, was it like eighty, uh, like eighty-four blocks before you lose EU yeah, or something? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's like somewhere around between thirty and forty. Oh, okay. Because I know copper is like every four blocks you lose EU. Yeah. Or something like that. There's okay. a zombie right there. God. I don't know why he came after you. I was yeah. tracking him. He didn't even see me, and then he decided to come down here and beat me. Yep. But we're gonna need this. And we're going to have it right here. Let's see how fast this fills up. Pretty quick. Yeah, it. Um, I could definitely tell a change in the ge geothermal generator when you put that thing down. And on the MF, what's this is a, the MFE, right? Mm -hmm. The one dot is the output just like the bat box. Yep. So what we're going to have to do is if we want to run anything from this, we're going to have to run it from here. Right. And if we want to power our machines over here, we're going to have to run a uh, low voltage transformer. So I think that's just copper and wood. Uh, yeah, I think you might need a couple pieces of copper and maybe a couple pieces of cable. 
insulated yeah. copper two wire. Two pieces of copper cable, three copper, and four planks. Yeah. So that's just going to be like this. I have so much crap in my inventory. Boom. Low voltage transformer. At least the good thing about all these different types of ores, they don't stack, but you can use them interchangeably in mm -hmm. recipes. So that's good. Okay, I need to change the out face to here. And now right. we've got low voltage power. Right. And we can move all the machines to... I'm going to have a little wall here. It's just going to be a little workshop right here. So get going on moving the machines over here. I was really wanted to build that electric wrench, but I guess that's not going to happen. Not for a while. Yeah. Let's see. What is this? Oh, well, I broke it, so I guess it doesn't matter what it is. So if you guys look at this MFE, you notice it holds 600,000 EU, and it outputs 128 EU per tick, which is medium voltage. The geothermal generator will do 20 EU per tick, so it'll take quite a while to fill this thing up but it'll actually also last a while because those machines are all low voltage machines so they don't use a ton of power yeah and the good thing about the geothermal generators is this let's say this was an mfs you can hold a lot of power um, you can hook three four five six of these geothermal generators up to the same supply and it would fill it up really quickly yes and the the fiber cable the fiber cable can hold that much eu so you wouldn't lose anything to the uh the packet restrictions I don't remember how many, how much of you per tick the uh, fiber cable fiber cable can hold. I heard it was five. To, oh, creeper, back up! Run back away! Up? Oh no! Yeah, no, back no. up! Not the expensive stuff. Uh, I heard it was five twelve, but I'm not really positive. Oh, he's coming after me. Good. Sweet, <laughs> that was good. Oh man, I can't wait to wall all this in. See, we, we've got creeper and skeletons. All day. Um, but the cable is 512 packets, so you can run like six MFSUs into one piece of fiber cable. Like mm -hmm. they can all converge. Since the packet size is only 512, it, it it's would work not going to. Right. Yeah. Correct. So let's see. We have all our <clears> machine <throat> of fiber cable, fiber cable here. Just like that. And then we can just slap our machines on top right here and uh, get going. Yep. And for the buildcraft machines, what I'm actually going to do is build electric engines. And then you can power, you can use your EU to produce MJ and not have to worry about half your machines being not powered. Yeah, that's really good. I'm glad they did that. Since there's no more energy link or engine generators. Yeah. Man, that energy link was so awesome. I don't think I ever used the energy link. What did that do? It converted MJ into EU. Oh, just, just like that? Just did it? So you could make... Um, three low voltage solar arrays mm -hmm. and put them on a well if you made four and put them on a bat box it would run a quarry like all day and then all night wow yep that's pretty awesome and they were they were portable so you didn't have to worry about you know all you had to do is put your wireless uh, item transport pipe your teleport mm -hmm. pipe and send everything back to your base to get processed Wow, that's pretty awesome. Do they do they have the teleport pipe in this? Uh, it's let's see. it's not in the mod pack, but it is it is available for this version of Minecraft. Okay. It's the uh, uh, the additional pipes mod is what it's called. What I usually have to do is uh, you have to set up an ender chest, two ender chests, and then you have it pumped into the ender chest, and you have a filler or uh, a pump pulling it out of the other redstone chest wherever you wanted it to go. Right. So, so what else do we need to do power now? Um, we should build some electric engines. Okay. Um, and I think those use tin. I want to say. I don't. I've never actually built them in this this version, so I don't know. I hope they didn't get hard. Let's see. They probably did. You're on great nope. tech. Okay. Phew. It's just regular tin. It's uh all the engines are built the same way. Just a piston, a gears, a layer, and some glass. <clears throat> and the electrical engine happens to be tin. So we're gonna go ahead and make some tin gears. I'll need four. Of, I'll need. Let's go ahead and build two of them now. And are those the forestry ones? Can you are those the ones you can upgrade? I think so. I think they have a slot for uh, circuit boards. Yeah, you ma you make and your you circuit boards. Um, I think you have to make a a thermionic fabricator for something, yeah. and maybe a carpenter. Mm -hmm. And then you have to make a soldering iron, I believe. And then you can... yeah, they're they're a pain in the ass, and I never really figured them out. Yeah, I haven't messed with them yet. 
It'll happen some point, I'm sure. Yeah, the th I, I tried making it work, but uh, I put the circuit boards in the, the engines and nothing happened. So, uh, oops, I can't make a piston with 10. But it's going to be nice to have some power going, and I can just cook all this ore I have that's unprocessed. You know, um, you, you can't build a macerator, right? Um, I think I can, actually, now. If you do that, you ought to, and then double everything. Yeah. Diamonds. I may just build a second pulverizer. Oh, I remember why I can't build um, a macerator. I need glowstone for the advanced circuit, and I haven't been to the nether yet. It takes an advanced circuit? Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. And we'll just go... Other than that, it's not too bad, except that it takes it takes three diamonds. Yeah, it's a little silly, but... Wow. And the rotary macerator is the same. It's just the first level that... Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it uses a lot of, a lot of uh, materials. Where do we put that pulverizer? You know what we should do is put the pulverizer right on top of this electric furnace, mm -hmm. set the output to the bottom, and see if it automatically puts it in there. That's a good idea. Let's do that. Because I haven't tried mixing and matching machines yet. Let's get some light there. Put the engine here. And we'll build a lever. So and we if, can turn this off. And if you do that... Um, you may want to put... Um, Did you take the pulverizer? Uh, no. Oh, I have it right here. If you hadn't put your... Uh, what's that, an extractor? Mm -hmm. You could have pulled the items out the side, but I, you can try Oops. to... Oh, did it keep it? <laughs> yeah. I wasn't going to break it with the wrench because I didn't want to lose the <laughs> machine. <laughs> it's a cheap machine. That's okay. So like that? Uh, yeah, and then if you look at the thing... Um, Oops. Oh, I can turn it with the wrench. Yeah. That's neat. See, we want the bottom to be red and yellow. Let me turn that one off. Okay, so... Yeah, I don't have any idea how these buildcraft machines work. I mean, thermal expansion machines work. The configuration is where I get lost. Well, I just want to make the orange be on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that when it does something, it kicks it into the orange slot, and then it hopefully it goes straight into the furnace. I don't know if it'll do it. It'll put it into a buildcraft pipe, uh -huh. so I don't see why not. Let's find out. Do you actually have to turn that engine on? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's going. Cool. Do they overheat? No, they won't. Oh, I need to. I need to hook that up. Yeah, electrical engines are my favorite by far. Um, they they're kind of slow to start off with, but once they get going. Right. I mean, look, it's powering the pulverizer with energy to spare, so. Well, the pulverizer runs on four MJ Max. And yeah, it's in there. Six. Oh, it's in there, dude. That's awesome. Yeah, it'll it'll just power it up all the way. Well, the way the thermal expansion machines work is they will, they're, they're too smart. They use some of the power and they put some of the power in their internal buffer. Mm -hmm. This one holds forty eight hundred MJ. Yeah. So until that fills up, it's not going to run at full power. Because it tries oh, to save it. Okay, I see. But everything's so once going. Once it fills up, it'll just burn through some power. Right. And okay, that makes sense. Everything's going into the furnace, which is awesome. So if you put a hopper on top of your uh, thermal expansion thing, your pulverizer, you can just toss stuff in here. Yeah, you put a bunch of stuff in the hopper, mm -hmm. and then uh, it'll just filter through. And if you pump it out straight into a chest. Yeah, we just get some buildcraft pipes. Uh, I think on the is it the front or the side of the furnace that it outputs? It's it can be any any side except the top or bottom. Oh, the the top or bottom are inputs. Yeah, well, the bottom is not. The top is. I want to say that you can. I think you can even pull out of the bottom. So maybe any side but the top you can pull out of. Let's see. Let's try this. Let's get a wooden transport pipe. I love electric engines so much. They What do they pull, like half a stack out of something at one time? Oh, I'm not sure. I, I know they, I think they max out at two megajoule per tick. Right, but if you're using them to move stuff, 
it's different. Like the the steam engines now Sterling, they pull out um, not quite a stack. Hmm. I can't even see that pipe. Oh really? Oh, there it goes. I yeah, need it to be. It hooks up to the engine, unfortunately. Do you have a chest you can set down next oh, to it? There we go. Look at that. Spit it right out. Spit it all the way over here. Threw it out. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, since it has an input slot. Let's just build a chest and see what it does. I put, uh, I'll put i put some dirt in the input slot of the engine so that... Uh, oh, it spits it out. Look, it went all the way over here. Well, I got one down here, too. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I, um, I put something in the slot of the engine so it can't accept anything, so everything should go to the chest. Okay. Smart. But normally you would use a redstone engine for something like this yeah. or a red power tube transposer. Because most of the engines don't have a slot that can take something. Right. Or if you use one of those gates that I can't pronounce. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No. I'm just going to type it in here and I'm going to let everybody read it if I okay. can type. Um, I'm actually going to build that hopper now and we'll get that set up. This gate right here, maybe it's autarkic. Is that it? Autarkic gate? A-U-T-A-R-C-H-I-C? Oh, that's what I guess. Yeah. Autarkic, autarkic looks looks right. Okay. How long have we been recording? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> We've been recording for 1345, so that's good. That's it? Yeah, I know, right? Are you positive? Uh, pretty sure. Is that from the beginning or from when you had to pause? Oh, we've actually been recording for two, <laughs> two, two times that amount. So, <laughs> so we better wrap it up. Yeah. Let's get this hopper going, make sure all this stuff works and then we'll call it a day. If I can find some wood, I know I have some somewhere. I have some in my inventory. Oh, okay. I have like half a stack. There you go. Sweet. Who would have thunk wood would be the thing holding me back. Yeah, and you got all these trees out here that you haven't even touched. I live next to a forest. You'd think that would not be an <laughs> issue. I need a stone gear, five iron. Do I have any iron? No, I need a quick there, There's some in this chest right here. Oh, here, let's put some in? Okay. I'll bring it. Yeah, remember we just cooked up some. Stone gear. Uh, iron that I can't see where to go. You throw it to me? You should have picked it up. I would probably put it in my miner's backpack. Yep. Yep, that's what it did. And gunpowder apparently goes in the miner's backpack now. Does it really? Yeah, that's weird. I think the backpacks are broken. Because uh, my digger's backpack has been picking up flowers and random stuff. So let's put this hopper right there. And then it should... Then fill it up. Let's see. Let's just go grab a whole bunch of crap. And Let's hoppers get... are stackable, by the way. So if you want to put, like, two hoppers or three hoppers on top of each other... You can um, do that and not have to worry about them overflowing. Let's do some gold and some iron and some, uh, let's see, copper. Why not? Just mix it up. By the way, the pulverizer, if you're pulverizing copper, there's a small chance you'll get gold. Oh, really? Yep. And there's um, there's another one. I forget what it is. Oh, this thing is going to town. Yeah, now that it's got all that, that energy built up, it'll it'll go a lot more quickly. I think I'm going to have to switch to these engines. Oh, the, the pipe's actually glitched. You can't see the stuff moving through it, but it is. Yeah, because it's only one one section. Um, can you hook these electric engines up to conductive buildcraft pipe? Yeah, you can. Ooh, I'm going to have to get into that. Yeah, for anybody who doesn't know the conductive pipes, is uh, you see how I have this machine here attached to this engine, uh, this machine? Well, let's see, it's delivering MJ, which is the power that this machine uses. There are pipes, just like transport pipes, that will carry MJ across a distance to a machine. So you could have an array of these engines. You could have, let's say, eight electric engines all hooked up to some conductive pipe, and you can attach the conductive pipe to all your machines and not have to worry about having a machine for each engine. You just turn all your engines on, and it'll power all your machines. But uh, from what you were saying, you said there was an issue with the, the pipes exploding? Well, I'm only using thermal expansion engines. I never had a problem with the peat-fired engines, but the magmatic engines, everything keeps exploding. The pipes keep blowing up. And it doesn't so it doesn't damage anything, except it, it destroys one section of pipe, 
But then oh. I have to make new pipe. Yeah, that's a pain. It is. So you have the the orange output here on the bottom. And that's on the bottom. Right. And then you just change the colors here to orange and it'll go to where you've told it to go. If if you click the bottom just uh -huh. if you click and just cycle through. Oh, it I does see. it. It does it automatically. Okay, so the it, it lets you pick where you want everything to go. That's really neat. I like right. this. And I think that one down on the bottom right, I think that's the back. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Here, I'm going to pull this copper out and see if it pulls the gold in. Yep. Did it? Yep. yep. Awesome. Yeah, and if you notice, in that bottom orange slot, there was gold in there. Mm -hmm, and it because, pulled it too. Because the copper gave us one gold uh, dust. And then when there's room in that electric uh, furnace, it'll pull it down in there. Oh, this is going to be great. I'm going to build, uh, once I get the induction furnace going, oh, man. Oh, uh, yeah, you're going to be processing very quickly. Flying through stuff. What's probably going to end up happening is I'm going to not need this all the time. But uh, that's why you set up these levers here. The electrical engine just go bloop. Right. Well, and then off. you'll have a macerator pretty soon anyway. So Yeah, the macerator uh, is not super hard to build, I found out. It just needed diamonds. And the macerator is usually not hard to build. You usually want to build it really early. But right. they, they, they broke it. They mm -hmm. made it take three diamonds and a diamond gate, which I will need um, the advanced crafting table to build. No, you can use an advanced circuit instead of the instead of that gate. Oh, can you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there you go. The advanced circuit's pretty easy to make. You just need a, a regular circuit, some redstone, lapis, and glowstone, I believe. Yep. Like this. Yep, I think that's all the time we have for today. This was a good little a good little setup we have going here now. We have all our power. We have it powering the machines, and we have a, finally a way to get rid of all this ore we've been stocking up. So thank you, Aaron, for helping me with all this. Not a problem. Anytime, like I said. I'll have to return the favor in your world next time. <laughs> yeah, we can come uh, blow a bunch of stuff up. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.